Essential PLC Tutorial For students, beginners, and refreshers With Live Examples Extra Session 2 Your attention please Your attention please Your attention please Please select your subtitle for this video Welcome to our DIY channel. This is Nico Tess at your service. At the end of the session, you should be able to first logic gates and its relation with ladder logic. Second, PLC data types. Third, Answers to Part 2 Challenge Portion And last but not the least, Live Examples Logic Gates and Ladder Logic There are two things we would like to know first before we further divulge this topic. What is Logic Gates? And, how is logic gates related to ladder logic? A logic gate is a device that acts as a building block for digital circuits. In a circuit, logic gates will make decisions based on a combination of digital signals coming from its inputs. Most logic gates have two inputs and one output. In relation with ladder logic, the PLC program also makes its decisions based on the digital and analog states or values of two or more inputs to one or several outputs. In this topic, we will revolve mostly in the bit values of one and zero. We should learn their interpretations. Here is the table, to better understand the implication of 1, and 0. In logic gates, boolean, and ladder logic. Bit 0 is considered as, false, in boolean. A normally open contact, and not energize or, off status in ladder logic. Bit 1 is opposite of bit 0. It is, true in boolean and a normally closed contact or energized in ladder logic its status is on logic gates are important to plc because it helps develop understand and interpret the outcome and sequence of the control equivalence of gate logic to ladder logic 1. And, gate. Both, or all inputs, must be at, on state, in order to produce a, true, and on outcome. This is use, wherein both conditions, must be satisfied, to output a true or on state. Like for example, you need to, set both the power, and start buttons, in order to run, the motor. Either one of the inputs, or both must be at, on state, to produce a true, and energized output. 
An example application of this, is when you want to run the motor, by pressing the start, or jog button. Three, NAND, NOT, and, GATE. Opposite of, and, GATE, and its latter logic is, somewhat like, OR, GATE, but with normally close contacts. If both conditions, 1 and 2 are true, or energized, then, that's the only time, the output will be, at off state. An example. If process 1, and process 2, are both completed, then the system will be stopped. Four, nor, not or gate. Opposite of, or, gate, and its latter logic, is like, and, gate, but with normally close contact. If either one, or both of them are true, then the output, will be at off, and false state. An example application is, when you want to stop the motor, Either the emergency button, or the stop button, is pressed. Five. Exclusive or. In exclusive or gate, it's either, one of them is on in order to energize the output. If both of them are in, off state, or on state, then, the coil output is, the energized. This is used, when you don't want two things, to run simultaneously, or you want to run the process one, and two, alternately. Six. Exclusive NOR In exclusive NOR gate, if either one of them is on, and the other is off, then the output is de-energized. So having both on, or off, energizes the coil. This is used, when you want to have, a synchronized process for one and two. They are on, and off, at the same time. Tired of having slow computer, slow boot up, and hanging desktop? No money, to spend for an upgrade? Here is the solution. Please watch this video, and follow these easy steps. For better performance, and save time. Visit our website Step Free Skills 101, and watch the video. Links are on the descriptions. PLC data types Data types, are the formats of the variable, or constant, used in a program. There are basically, two types of data. Discrete, and word data. Discrete data, is one bit that can be either a, one, or, a zero. Discrete data, is used for keypad button inputs, and lighting circuit outputs. Word data is, 16 bits, that represent a fixed, or variable number. For example, word data, is used for, interval, timers, and any other mathematical calculations. Without understanding PLC data types, and how their format, works, a PLC programmer, cannot develop, and define the program properly. In this topic, we will see, the various data types, generally used, in a, PLC. We start with, bit. 
Again, a bit is a single discrete data that has a form of either one or zero. A bit one denotes as on or true status. A bit zero is the opposite and has a meaning of off or false status. The bit is the most basic unit of information in computing and digital communications. The name is a contraction of binary digit. Bit defines the status of the input and output discrete signals. The byte A collective of bits. One byte has 8 bits. The first star bit means LSB or least significant bit and the last bit means MSB or most significant bit. Byte is also called a short integer because it can hold numbers between 0 to 255. Unsigned means the range has only positive numbers. So, here in a byte, unsigned byte means 0 to 256. And signed byte has both negative and positive numbers. For example, numbers negative 127 to positive 127. A byte in PLC can be used as sending bit status byte groups or batches. Next would be PLC data type integer. Integer is also called a word. One word or integer has two bytes or 16 bits. A word can hold up to 65,536 numbers of combinations or values. For unsigned integer, it is from 0 to 65,536. And for signed, negative 32,767 to positive 32,767. Word or integer is used for dealing with arithmetic, calculation of numbers, and analog input or output. Next is real data type. 32 bits makes a real format. So one real is equal to two words, four bytes and 32 bits. A real variable can directly be assigned a decimal value. The value will be from negative 3.4028235 raised to 38 to positive 3.4028235 raised to 38. Almost the same application with integer. But floating data type has more accurate and real-time measurement of sensing variables. Floating numbers have decimal points. Thus they are more accurate and suited to show variables on the HMI. Answer to Part 5 Challenge If you like a copy of the program, feel free to email us at step.freeskills101 at gmail.com or see the description.
Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from this. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Have a great day.